Hey everybody, welcome back to day seven of the preview of Form Z Fundamentals. My name is Evan Troxel and this is GetMethod.com. And my new course is set to launch tomorrow. What I wanted to do today for my final preview video and for the final day of the sale, the pre-sale of $100 off the course, I was going to go through all of the different modules that the course offers so you can get a really full understanding of everything that's included in the over six hours of video training that I've prepared for you. So what we're going to do right now is take a look at what is in the course. All right, this is the landing page for the course. And when you show up here, uh, there's a few things going on. You can head back to the Get Method website by clicking on this link. You can enroll in the course and you can sign up. Now, if you're coming from one of the links that I have published throughout this week, you will see a discount applied here already. There is a promo video up here. If you watch that promo video, you'll get a little bit more insight into why I created the course. And you'll also see kind of a time lapse of a bunch of the videos that are included in the course in action. So uh, that's kind of fun to watch and you can really get an idea of what happens inside the training sessions. All right, so let's scroll down here. What I really wanted to show you was the, the class curriculum. All right, the class curriculum here is full listing of every video in the course. And you can see that it's broken up by module. And each module has all of these different videos with their title and their length of time. And the reason that I did it this way is because I wanted you to be able to come back at any time and just get the piece that you wanted. Uh, a lot of times I've seen training videos done, and I've done this in the past myself on my website, where I've posted an hour-long video. And if somebody wanted to come back and just kind of refresh themselves on the piece that they wanted to get that refreshing on, they had to scrub through and find it. And so I've really taken all the work out of it for you, the user, to come back and find what you need. So what I'm gonna do here is go through the different modules that I've included in the course, and let's just take a look at what's included. All right, so the first module, number one, is called Getting Started, and this is all about familiarizing yourself with the program, with the interface, with the tools, with navigating in 3D, um, what are the different view types, and uh, setting up cameras. So it really just kind of gives you an overview of how to work with the program and it doesn't have anything to do with building models yet. But that's a really important foundation to set up front. So that's what module one is dedicated to. Module two is about creating geometry. And this one is where we actually start to make things. So we talk about the difference between objects, uh, using the object palette, how to hide objects, um, what are live Booleans? We talked about that in one of the preview videos that I showed this week. Um, what are the different Boolean operations? How do those work? What are the difference between all the different types of shapes that Form Z makes as a hybrid modeler? It makes surfaces, it makes solids, and everything in between. So we really spent some time going through the different object types. And then how to reshape those, um, how to do cut and fill, how to stitch and unstitch geometry. Um, how to do the extend tool, which is again one of those videos that showed up this week. If you click this little button right here, it gives the uh, it, it basically reveals all of the modules that are included in the course. So now we can see that we've got module three. So line work and derivations. Line work has to do with you know if you're drawing two dimensional lines and then what you can do with those, whether it's extending them, trimming them, breaking them, basic CAD functionality with two dimensional line work inside of Form Z. Even if you import a DWG and then you can continue to work on it as if it were a CAD program in Form Z in the modeling environment. Uh, and then what do we do once we start to derive? Do we, do we draw shapes on top of that? Do we take a 2D shape and turn it into a 3D shape? That's what derivations are in Form Z. We can also go the other way. We can take a face from a 3D object and derive it down to a 2D shape. There's all kinds of neat stuff. And so it really starts to talk about what the derivations are. We go into the sweep tool. We go into rounding, controlled rounding, Revolve, a lot of neat uh, 3D stuff inside of here. Module four is selecting and transforming geometry, kind of what are some basic concepts inside of Form Z, whether it's pre-pick and post-pick, what does that mean? Um, what does it mean to move objects and copy objects, and how do we constrain movement? How do we get multiple copies of objects when we're moving or, or rotating? 
Um, how do we mirror? How do we do scale on objects? And we talk about the transform tool, which is different from the move tool. So uh, there's a lot of great stuff inside here. Again, there's a free video preview inside one of those videos. Module 5 is all about guides. So this is I took a, a piece of this for one of the, the earlier previews that I just showed this week, where we talk about the difference between permanent guides and temporary guides and how to turn those on and off and what to do with those. And then we'd get into an, a real world case study of building a staircase. So we use the, the stair tool to build a stair, and then we use a sweep tool to build handrails. Then we fill in the handrail with all the interstitial uh, railing parts. And so that's kind of a complete comprehensive uh, video that shows from beginning to end how to make a stair with a railing. And so it's a great case study. Module six is all about organization. So when you start to work in 3D, it can get out of control really fast. We've got tons and tons of objects. So we talk about the difference between using objects, groups, components, layers, and how FormZ has multiple ways to organize projects and finding the right one to work for you. Module 7, a very short module, but it was an important one. I wanted to talk about edges and shading attributes. So you'll see what that is when you jump into there. Module 8 is all about materials, placing them, setting material by layer, uh, adding textures, uh, talking about UV textures, how to load in textures, and then we kind of recap the whole thing at the end. Module 9 is all about display modes and lighting. So what are the different display modes Formsy has? And it's got a ton. You know, it's got wireframe, hidden lines, shaded work, shaded full, doodle, uh, tons of stuff. So we talk about all the different settings inside those different display modes. And we talk about, uh, like, for instance, shaded full mode. We talk about shadows, occlusion, how to set the lighting levels, uh, how to change the sun position. We talk about adding extra lights to the scene. You can have as many lights as you want inside of Form Z. So you really can do whole scene setup and the benefits of that. Um, we also talk about doodle and sketch rendering and then even go so far as to composite shaded and sketch renderings together in Photoshop to show you an example of a workflow that I use quite often inside the renderings that I do. Module 10, views and scenes. We talk about the difference between the two. So there's a views palette and a scenes palette. Why would you use one over the other? That's really what this module is about. And then we talk about how to control lighting and layer visibility using that scenes palette so that you really can create different uh, moods and scenes within your project file. Module 11 is all about clipping planes. Again, this is where one of the free preview videos that I posted earlier this week came from. Clipping planes are a really powerful way to show sections through your drawings. And one of the neat things that it, uh, FormZ does is it allows you to set attributes on an object by object basis of how they are going to show up when you clip through them. So for instance, if you're clipping through concrete, you can show concrete hatch on that solid piece of geometry so that uh, if you're cutting a section, you can see what that material would be. Uh, so lots of neat stuff inside of clipping planes. You can animate them so you could have them uh, like move through a building and then go back. Uh, it's pretty cool. Module 12 is all about exporting images. And this is really the last part of the course that gets into all the importing, exporting capabilities of Form Z. So we talk about um, exporting imagery, so renderings, right? We talk about how to set the resolution for those so you get exactly what you want into Photoshop or whatever image editing program that you're using. And I show you how to check that so you can make sure it's working properly. Um, very easy to do. Then we talk about exporting 3D geometry. So I actually take a whole project and push it out of Form Z into SketchUp and I show how it continues to be modifiable inside of SketchUp. This program really does talk well to other programs, as you saw in the last video that I posted just before this one. We talked about importing a NURB surface from Rhino and then being able to continue to edit it inside of Form Z. So that's fantastic. Uh, so that's this module 15 where we're importing 3D geometry from other programs. And I talk about all the different file types that you can import into Form Z and continue to work with. And then lastly, module 16, we talk about importing bitmap images as underlays. So how do you bring in maybe a hand-drawn sketch or a floor plan that you want to draw on top of? Lots of different ways to do that, and I kind of go through the benefits of each different way to do it and why you would want to do it that way. All right, so uh, really strong 16-module program, uh, tons of stuff in here, tons of videos. And if you click on one of these previews, let me scroll back up here to the top and just start at the beginning. So if we hit this preview button here, 
kind of gives you an idea of how the learning system actually works right here inside of the, uh, the website. And you can see all the videos are listed on the left hand side and it keeps track of what you've watched. So you can see that this video is in progress and you'll get a full circle once it's been watched. So you can easily keep track of everything that you've already done in the course. So if you come back and do a little bit each day or each week, it's easy to pick up where you left off. You don't have to remember where that was. And that's one of the benefits to this platform. You can see we can complete this one and continue. And that's when it would mark this as complete and it would go on to the next video automatically. You can also set the speed. So for instance, if you are a fast listener or a fast watcher, you can speed it up. One of the other benefits of using this system, you can go full screen and you can even airplay this to another device. So if you wanted to watch it on a TV and you've got an Apple TV in your living room, you can just set this up and go watch it somewhere else. It's a very flexible system. I love it, so um, that's why I chose it. I hope that you get a lot out of using this. All right, that is it. That is all 16 modules of my brand new course, Form Z Fundamentals, as if you haven't heard that name enough. Uh, this has been really fun, and I hope that uh, you really enjoyed the seven-day preview of the course. I've shown a lot of behind the scenes of what is in the course, so that it really hopefully gives you an idea of what you can expect. And uh, I hope that that's been helpful for you to help make a decision, and I hope you do sign up and enroll in the course. I hope to see you guys in class really soon. Uh, I think that the platform is fantastic. It's going to be a great learning resource for you, and it really is going to help you learn new skills. So if you haven't learned Form Z before, this is obviously a, a great fundamentals course. But if you already do know Form Z, this is going to be one of those things where it can help you sharpen your skills and get better at it, learn great habits, learn new workflows that I've developed over the last 20 years. I think this is really a fantastic program. All right, so if you can't tell, I love Form Z. I want to teach it to you. I think that you are really going to benefit from it. And I think it really can be a great tool in your practice. All right, so come back tomorrow and the price is up 100 bucks. You missed out. So if you buy today, today's the last day that you can get Form Z Fundamentals for $100 off. And uh, I hope you get in on the deal and see you in class. All right, so this is Evan signing off. I'll see you guys soon over on getmethod.com with something new. I'm sure I'll be working on something. All right, but this has been really fun. I'll see you guys around. Have a great week.